it's uh, bad news on the horizon for your bank account. Come this weekend, power bills are set to rise by up to 20%, which could mean an additional $600 every year for the average customer. Yeah, Origin, Energy Australia and AGL have all announced price increases for electricity and gas starting from July 1, with the biggest hike expected to be for residents in the ACT. Sneaky buggers. Here to tell us more, uh, Consumer Affairs commentator Joe Uchukolo. Good morning to you, Joe. Good morning. Uh, what's behind the price hike? So most people don't realise a power bill is made up of three components. There's the wholesale cost, which is the cost to generate power. There's the um, network charge, which is the poles and wires. And then there's the retail cost. So that's, that's the charge from the people that send you the bill. So this particular round of price increases is being blamed on the cost to generate, the wholesale cost. Right. But, but that's why we've seen a series of price increases for different yes. reasons. All right, so we just named, named all those companies there. So it, people say shop around. Is that gonna, that's not even going to make a difference, is it? Look, you think that it doesn't, but it actually does. So, Kylie, you mentioned that the top three retailers yep. now announced um, the Origin price increase. Origin Energy Australia AGL, right? But you know what? In a lot of states, there's many, many retailers. So, for example, in Victoria, you could have up to 38% discount by switching to a smaller provider. And some of these providers even go onto their websites and, and tell you how much you could save. So the best thing to do is the government, each state government usually has price comparison websites that'll go through and say which retailers will offer different prices. Um, are the smaller providers reliable? Because I know sometimes if you're talking tech technology, they're sometimes not. They offer better deals, but they don't have the reliability. That's a great question, Larry. So remember how we talked about the three components of a power bill? Mm -hmm. So that second um, component, which is the network charge, that's the poles and wires. And that's pretty much consistent across any company you switch to. So when you're switching providers, you're only switching retailers, and they're just the ones that do the customer service and send you the bill. OK, all So righty. they're not um, in charge of giving you power. Okay. I'm yeah. sensing maybe there could be an opening here, therefore. So how can we... If we don't want to do that and I want to pressure my existing supplier, how can I do that? So I, I can't be bothered changing because, oh. So, well, they're and they're relying on that. Yeah, they're yes. relying on the, oh, I can't even do it. Yeah. How can I put pressure on my existing supplier? So it is still worth contacting your existing supplier to say, can you offer me a 5% discount, 10% discount? Or there's other rebates or incentives that you might not be currently getting that you might be entitled to. Mm -hmm. Low income, um, you know, medical appliances. It's, it's often worth having that conversation. Also, sometimes you can talk about things about better managing your bill. So they talk about bill smoothing. So in the northern parts of Queensland, we get high bills when it's hot for air conditioning. Mm. In the southern parts, we get high bills when it's cold. And you can ask them to adjust it so it's similar throughout the year okay. or get or pay by the month. So there's different things that will make it more affordable. What about okay. some tips to save on those power bills? So the best thing you can do is actually reduce the energy consumption in your home. And some really great tips is heat your water off peak if, if the meter allows for it. Larry, get rid of all the excess fridges in your home. Yes, what? this one's for you. Particularly any old appliances like TVs, um, fridges. Anything that's old is probably inefficient. If you're not using it, don't have it plugged in. I think it's important that our viewers know too that watching the morning show on Channel 7 is free. But if you're watching 9 or 10, it's actually quite expensive. Yeah, it's more. Yeah, I've heard that. You, uh, yeah, yeah, they actually have different, different, <laughs> yeah, ways, different ways, ways to charge. Yeah, different ways of generating. Because yes. <laughs> it's about the poles and the lines. That's mm. right. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. <laughs> it's true. I, no, it. I can only tell you. I'm just trying to How much is going up? Service. 20%. That's you. a big hike. So, do we actually say why? Why this is happening? They're, they're blaming it on the cost to produce energy. And why it is, is because you might have heard that they're decommissioning some of the power generation. Yes. Blah, and we've blah, got blah. old generators. And, mm. and so, it's a case of. You know, we've got a lot of demand on our network for the energy and not as much getting produced. It sounds like more price rises coming our way. Yeah, that's right. All right, Joe, thank you for that. Pleasure. Appreciate that.